I want you to know that anything and everything is possible. Only you know what you're gonna do. Only you know your truest potential. So please, please, please do not let anybody around you try to knock you off that your path. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so grateful that you decided to join us today. I don't want to waste too much time. So today we're going to be speaking about three major signs that your dream life is already on its way. So with that being said, it brings us to our first key sign, which is loss. You just randomly start losing people and things that you just thought were so, so aligned with you. And you quickly begin to realize that everything happens for a reason and that it's easier to let things come and go compared to just being so attached to it. And I feel like a lot of us just being human beings are emotionally attached. And I feel like it's because of those emotions that it is harder to let things go. And like I said before, like you really kind of have to let things come and go and know that things are only here for for the season and after they serve its purpose you know you have to let things go to bring in things that more align with you and things that are going to teach you new lessons and bring you new experiences and once you kind of get that the whole process of like detaching and letting go just gets a whole lot easier and the funny thing is like all of this really does test like your faith and your trust and either how much you believe in your dreams or how much you believe in like the universe or God or like whatever you want to call it it is just testing you how much do you believe in it? How much do you want it? How much do you believe that everything is happening for you? The funny thing is we come into this world with nothing and we leave this world with nothing. So anything that we are experiencing while we're here, it only makes sense that we allow it to come and go, right? And it, it's really just easier to kind of think of it as like this balance and knowing that, you know, whatever I lose, the exact equal and opposite is coming to me. So that's key sign number one. And then this brings us to our next key sign, which is adversity or just a bunch of challenging situations kind of coming at you all at once. And one of the things that I've learned with adversity is that adversity is honestly, it's a gift because adversity is kind of preparing you to become the person that you're needing to for the things that you want. Like adversity is going to test you and it's going to make you grow and it's gonna challenge you and it's just going to expand you all around and it's hard. It's so hard, especially like when you're first starting to kind of go against the grain and hitting the bumps in the road. But like adversity brings you your most valuable lessons and, it, and those lessons is what brings in the life that you're looking for. So in the moment when you are facing adversity, in the moment when those things are kind of coming all at you, you have to kind of step back and be like, okay, this is making me the person that I want to be. I'm grateful for this. I'm open to this. And then watch it kind of shift. Oh, I see a bird. And I saw, I was watching this video and I saw this, what he was saying was that like the universe thinks highly of you if it's giving you all of these challenges and these things to work through. Like, I know you guys have seen that quote that was like, God won't give you nothing that you can't handle. You know, so when you are facing it, know that hey, I can handle this. I wouldn't be facing this. I wouldn't be going through this if it wasn't for my highest good. And at the end of the day, like when you are going through adversity, when you are going through challenges, you honestly have to stay solution focused. Like you have to just focus on the positive. You have to really train yourself. And this is why I say affirmations are so powerful or just kind of always looking towards the brighter end of the sick. Like, it's so important to see the positive or see the solution in where you're going because then you don't get stuck. Then you get to see the light and keep moving towards the light instead of being like, why is this happening to me? And then staying in that limiting belief and that closed minded mindset. Adversity really challenges you and makes you look within and, look and check yourself and your beliefs. And once you kind of like work with it and you're kind of in this co-creating energy it gets a whole lot easier just kind of with loss like all of these things are happening like to you so you can grow and so you can expand again just to become that person that you're looking to become to attract that dream life towards you okay and our last major sign is haters 
naysayers or just people coming out the woodworks to really push you down. And don't be mistaken, this could be friends, family, people online in the comments, like this could literally be anybody, but they're just pushing these limiting beliefs and this negative energy on you. And I like to look at it from, how are you going to handle it? Like when these, cause the people will come, like you're not doing anything if you're not having haters. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you're not making any motion or commotion in the waters if you aren't having haters. So thank them and just allow it to pass. Like know that if somebody is putting negative energy on you, that's coming from within and you don't have to absorb that. You don't have to accept that. If somebody is, is saying hurtful words, know that they're hurting inside. You honestly, you're most likely triggering them. And it's because you believe in yourself and it's because you are going after your dreams and what you want out of life that that's why they have the biggest problem. And say, they, they can even say some crazy things like, oh, you know, that's risky or do you have a plan B? And it's because they don't believe in themselves. And so when they see you believing in yourselves and they see you really doing the dang thing, it makes them like look within. It makes them like, it reflects back to them and they are like, oh, confirmation. <laughs> it makes them look within and be like, oh, I don't like how that makes me feel. Or, oh, like, it's just basically, it's easier for them to run away from those feelings. It's easier for them to, to hide and push those feelings down then rather accept them. And so when you are here and you're either online or you're face to face, they are being forced to feel that. They're being forced to experience that. And so you're triggering them. What you might not realize is that you triggering them, you're actually helping them heal. You're actually helping them become this better version of themselves so they can, they can too attract the life that they're wanting. You know, like, Sometimes our biggest lessons are from the people around us, you know, and I think it's funny too because especially like and I definitely want to make a video about this is like when you are still surrounded by people say like in your hometown or that you went to high school with you kind of feel almost in this competition and I hate that it feels like that but it almost like does and I feel like it's because we kind of all start at this baseline of the high school or the hometown that we all started in. And so when you see people moving out of, of state or you see people kind of going after the jobs that they want to, instead of just going like the college route, it can trigger you. It can make you be like, dang, like, am I not doing enough? Or like, am I not becoming the best version that I could be? And so like, at the same time, because you're asking yourself those questions, you're able to make a change, you're able to make a difference. Because if you were just kind of going about your life and not noticing these things or not reflecting back to yourself, you wouldn't be able to make any change. So the fact that those people are bringing that out of you is a gift. And at the end of the day, you're not trying to make these people like you. That is not your goal. You just have to kind of also recognize what's going on and understand that your job is not to be understood. Your job is not to be liked. You, you are here to understand yourself and you are here to do what feels right in your soul. And you have to realize that you are your biggest fan. You have to be rooting for you night and day. You have to be believing in yourself more than anybody around you, more than your mom, your dad, your siblings, your friends. That is nobody's responsibility. You and your beliefs and your dreams and your goals, that is all your responsibility and is up to you to get out of your own way and make that come into fruition, make that come into the physical. With that being said, I hope that these key signs helped you. I hope that you were able to resonate a little bit with what I said. And honestly, if you're seeing this, it's for a reason. And I want you to know that you're closer than you think and that I believe in you. And I just hope that you are pouring love into yourself. I hope that you're being intentional about the way that you're living your life. And I want you to know that anything and everything is possible if you just keep focus and you just keep taking aligned action towards it. Only you know what you're gonna do. Only you know your truest potential. So please, please, please do not let anybody around you try to knock you off that your path. You are here for a reason and you are supposed to, you have purpose here. You're supposed to shake things up if that is what you feel called to do. Don't shrink yourself for nobody. 
we only have what a hundred years if we're lucky on this planet so who cares just go after it just do it the world that we live in is crazy anyways you know like nothing is perfect nothing is you know and like i said know that everything is working out for you and as long as you have self-love and self-worth and you trust in yourself and in the universe there's nothing that you can't do and there's nothing that you can't achieve so with that being said thank you so so much for giving me your time and your energy today and watching my video i hope that you guys are pouring love and light into yourselves And that is my cue to go inside because this mother nature is not playing with us today. So thank you so much for watching the video. Please go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. So yeah, that is my sign to go inside. All right, just like these are your three signs, that's my one major sign to get the heck in the house. All right.